Welcome to my Wednesday ramblings. This weekend, we're starting a new message series that will run during the Advent season titled From Darkness into Light. Over the last couple of weekends, as we've drawn to the end of the liturgical year for 2024, we were reminded on a number of occasions how Jesus is inviting us to prepare for the coming of the kingdom of God. As we begin the Advent season for Year C, we're reminded that this is still a very real and a very vital challenge, because as Jesus says to us in the Gospel, that there will be many things that happen which speak about the coming of the Messiah, the coming of the judge of all the earth. And as he reminds us of these, he tells us that the there will be clamour of the oceans and the waves. Men will die of fear as they await the menaces of the world. But then there is a, another promise, and that's, this is the promise of salvation. And then we're told that the Son of Man will come in a cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to happen, we're told we are to stand erect and hold our heads high because our liberation is near at hand. That's the promise of salvation. Yes, there will be trials, there will be challenges, and there will be destruction throughout the earth. But these are only as a reminder to us of the fact that our world is a finite place, and yet the kingdom of God is eternal. So as we prepare for this Advent season, we're also being reminded that it is a time of waiting, waiting in joyful hope and expectation for the coming of our Saviour but it's also a time of active waiting. It's not just enough to sit and think, well, Christmas is coming. That's what happens in the world. And we know that sometimes we have to be involved in the world. But active waiting reminds us that we choose how we prepare. We choose what we do. And so while we might participate in many of the activities that happen around us, the social activities, the sometimes frenzied uh, Christmas busyness, but we're still in Advent, a time of waiting. So I'd like to hope that as you reach into this Advent season, as you enter into it, you might simply be aware of what you can do to make a difference in how you prepare. Don't become a recluse. Don't lock yourself away. Live life, yes. Be involved in life, yes. But also choose to be involved in preparing for what is to, we are to celebrate. And that's to take time, make time in your own daily living to reflect on the scriptures, to pray and to prepare. I hope that this Advent season will be for you a time of joyful preparation. God bless you and I look forward to seeing you next week on my Wednesday ramblings.